How do the djinn interact? Let's talk about it, because in my opinion, they're one of the most fun. Hey, I'm Alice, and I'm a demonolatrist and a witch who works with the king of the djinn. That's his altar right there. I wear his sigil every day. That's King Payman. If that sounds like an interesting journey for you to watch or learn about, hit a like and a follow. And if you want to know what djinn or demons might be around you looking to work with you, you can book yourself an infernal identification session at the link in bio. In my opinion, the djinn as a whole are the most mercurial of the types of demons. They certainly work much more coordinated with the crown and third eye chakra and solar plexus. And they certainly have a way of entertaining or engaging your analytical mind and all of the things that are more cerebral in terms of spirit. What this might look like if they are there and you haven't yet acknowledged them is losing words at the tip of your tongue, having a little bit of extra brain fog, or having racing thoughts at night or in the morning. Um, they might bring you very colorful or exciting dreams. They might mix up times around and for you. Uh, they might also make things around you disappear or have what I call a tenuous relationship with reality. They do this all the time with my keys. <laughs> The djinn are particularly well known for the ways that they communicate. They are very verbal, they attract a lot of air sign energy, and they tend to verbally process things a lot. So they might bring a lot of sound to your space in a lot of different ways, in my opinion. This can range from music to paranormal sounds like knocks on the wall, creaks in wood, things like that. I tend to find all of those things happen more often when the djinn are invoked around me. I would say that each djinn in and of itself has its own personality. So the things that work with Duke Dantalian don't necessarily work with Duchess Grammarie, don't necessarily work with King Payman. Uh, but it's important to note that all of them tend to be more visual, more auditory, and they tend to bring a lot of activity around. You tend to feel their presence more regularly and um, a little more strongly or more like in this region, if that makes any sense. The djinn are also fantastic for helping you with astral projection or with meditation and the visualizations that come with that. I find most often that meditation with djinn is the fastest way to communicate with them and the fastest ways to learn from them. The djinn tend to ask and answer a lot more questions and communicate a little bit more frequently than perhaps others like King Baal might. But they are known to breadcrumb you or put you on more like spiritual scavenger hunts than others. And they certainly like to engage in a lot more playful types of things. Highly recommend reaching out to a djinn at some point, hosting a little party, and seeing what it's all about. Because they can be so much fun. Ave King Payman.